Hi everybody, it's Zoe Burmester here. Today we're going to talk about colour and the importance of colour on our cakes. For me, second to the taste of the cake, the colour that I use on the cake is probably right up there in my consideration when, when I'm designing a cake. I always think through the colour palette before uh, I embark on a cake so I know what I'm aiming for. There are many different ways that you can colour your cake, just super quickly, things that you're probably all familiar with. Gels, I use these to colour my paste, my chocolate, you can use them to colour buttercream. Dusts, if you make sugar flowers, you'll be familiar with these. Dry pigment dust that you can brush on, great for adding accent to flowers around the edges, etc. But if you mix this with an alcohol or a lemon extract, it turns into a paint and then you can paint on your work, like watercolours, it's absolutely fantastic. You can also mix these into um, cocoa butter and paint onto chocolate, for example. You can get paint in sprays, you can get luster dust, you can get brushes, you can get edible pens. There is a whole world out there of colour. Um, but really, you, the best way, I suppose, is just to understand a few principles. Um, I use all sorts of methods, as well as airbrushing, that's the other one that we'll talk about in another video, but airbrushing is another way to apply colour to your cake. Let's just take this cake here. This is an Italian Tuscan inspired wedding cake. I really wanted to use orange. I really wanted to incorporate a few different textures. I've gone for a very plain matte apricot, which is the base of my base of my cake. And the reason that I have done that is because in this bottom tier, I wanted to really highlight these sort of antique Tuscan looking tiles, which I've stenciled on with a deeper orange. But then if you have a look, I've aged them. I've, I've rubbed in a little bit of brown dust into the corners here just to bring it the age down. I've used a little bit of confectioner's glaze to add a to add that sort of uh, glazed look that you get on fired tiles and that gives me the lovely contrast to the matte apricot above and it really makes the kumquats in the orange pop. Lots of orange, all different tones and a little bit of green just to accent it and I think it works really really well. This is another example Anna and Boris, my dancing, uh, my dancing ballerinas. Now, she has been airbrushed and then hand painted, but I just want to show you the importance of light and dark in your cake. So I sculpted her with lots of creases and a little bit of back fat and you know, back wings and all the rest of it to give her that lovely sort of hippo shape. But the color has really helped bring her to life. If you see, I've, I've added darker coloration in the creases, lighter coloration on the pieces that expose on top, just to help with that definition. Inside her mouth and inside her nostrils, I've put a tiny bit of confectioner's glaze. Confectioner's glaze adds a very high shine to something. I haven't done it everywhere. I want her skin to look quite matte, but inside her mouth, I want that slight glisten. So I've done that there. It's another way of um, of uh, translating your colour. Um, you can see on the board here as well, I've added confectioner's glaze to a wooden board to help with that sort of stage floor feeling. So colour, I cannot stress how important colour is. Um, think about it this way, most of my work starts off white and I add the colour. I'm in control of it, I can mix to the tone I want. Um, and I much prefer it that way. So don't be frightened to mix and match and make your own colours. And before you start on a project, a bit like a mood board, put some colours out in front of you. Maybe make up a few little things of, um, you know, colour up some sugar paste, just so you can see the palette, you can visualise it. Um, it really will go a really, really long way. And I see a lot of cakes and I think, gosh, the design is lovely, but the colour's just a bit off or perhaps if they just kept one colour palette it might have been a more successful interpretation. Anyhow, all food for thought. Um, in the next uh, video tutorial um, I'm going to show you how you can apply colour to really um, create realism with, with, with your, with your modelling and how to really, really use colour to bring something to life.